David Powers says, Hi, James, and that hairy old bastard. Fans what? love to complain. What did he say? Uh, I, he said, hello, James. Can you believe that? And hairy old bastard. That's what he said. Okay, what's his name? David Powers. David, I'm going to remember that. Go, go ahead. Fans love to complain about the fictitious 14-minute headlock, but I managed to find an 8-minute headlock. Technically, a front face lock. During this match, it seems Andre was shit-faced drunk and passed out while Big John Stud had him in a front face lock. So, did you watch the video I sent you off? I did watch it. I mean, you didn't have to watch eight minutes of it, obviously. But So, my question, has Dutch ever had a match with an inebriated opponent? If so, how did he handle himself and what would he do if he was facing Andre in this match? Much love. The question should have been, did any of my opponents have a match with an inebriated opponent? <laughs> Yeah, it would have been me. Uh, yeah, I've been, I've never been drunk, but I had been drinking. And hell, Carlos Cologne was drunk every time I got in the ring with him. <laughs> and, you know, I mean, they put up with stuff like that in, in Puerto Rico because they walk around during the matches in Puerto Rico and they sell beer and they sell mixed drinks inside the building and that's how they make money uh and have i been drunk not drunk but a little i could feel it yeah a little bit maybe and how did you get through it well you know when you get drunk and you're young you don't much give a crap i probably did some crazy stuff that i wouldn't have done normally but I never really thought about getting hurt. When you start thinking about getting hurt, that's when you get hurt. So, no, I don't remember any matches with uh, when I was drunk. Is that what he asked? No, uh, opponents who were drunk that you wrestled and how best to get through a match like that. No, uh, slow and easy, to tell you the truth. You don't get fast. You don't tell him to hit you. <laughs> And if you tell them to hit you and just put your hands up like this, you know, look around. Oh, here it comes. Oh, God. <laughs> so, and it's like you get to know these guys, how good they are. Even when they're drinking, some of them are, some of them I had better matches with when they were drinking. I don't know. But if it's there, some guys are going to they going they gonna drink it if it's around. Do you remember who was Because there? back in the old days, I'd be sitting over there. It's like the first year or two in the business. I'd look over and he'd come out something and something else. And then and that was liquor, not beer. Put it down. Now I used to be a guy called Crazy Luke Graham. He would take a fifth, and he had a fifth on him all the time, or the remains of a fifth. And he would pick it up, and he'd go, gunk, gunk, gunk. and he'd always go, hey, always, and put the top back on it, and go back to talking or playing cards or whatever he was doing. So, and it was a bad example for a young man like me. That's what hmm. I just want to bring that up.